In this video, we will provide an overview of the procedure for migrating F5 Big IP VEs and application workloads from VMware to Nutanix. Our goal is to ensure minimal disruption to application services while maintaining existing configurations, including the Big IP VE licenses. The recommended migration procedure can be summarized in five stages. First, in stage one, we'll deploy a pair of Big IP VEs in Nutanix. Next, in stage two, we'll migrate the standby Big IP VE from VMware to Nutanix. In stage three, we'll fail over the active Big IP. Then in stage four, we'll migrate our application workloads. Finally, in stage five, we'll migrate the now standby Big IP VE, completing the migration from VMware to Nutanix. Let's get started with stage one. Currently, we have a VMware environment with a pair of VMware Big IP VEs in active and standby, along with application workloads. We'll keep this browser open throughout the video to monitor any application service disruptions during and after the migration to Nutanix. In this first stage, we'll create two VMs in Nutanix, Nutanix Big IP 1 and 2, and we'll keep them powered down for now. Moving on to stage 2, VMware Big IP 2 is currently the standby Big IP. We'll start by setting VMware Big IP 2 to forced offline. Next, we'll save a copy of its configuration and license. We'll save both files at a location that we can retrieve later in a migration process. Then we'll revoke its license. Once VMware Big IP2 becomes disconnected and inoperative, we'll disconnect all its interfaces. Now we'll power on Nutanix Big IP2 and assign it the same management IP as VMware Big IP2. After Nutanix Big IP2 is online, we'll first license it using the same saved license from VMware Big IP2. Next, we'll set it to forced offline. Then we'll upload the saved configuration and load it with the no license keyword. While the configuration is loading, we'll open a separate terminal to Nutanix Big IP2 and wait for the message device ready for online to appear. Once it does, we'll set Nutanix Big IP2 to online. With that, the standby Big IP2 has been successfully migrated from VMware to Nutanix. For stage three, we perform a felt over on VMware Big IP1 from active to standby. As a result, Nutanix Big IP2 is now the active Big IP. Next, in stage four, we'll migrate the application workloads from VMware to Nutanix using Nutanix Move. This cross hypervisor mobility solution allows us to migrate VMs and files with minimal downtime. After the migration, we'll find a note on the VMware VM indicating that it was successfully migrated to Nutanix by Nutanix Move. We recommend migrating the application workloads in groups rather than all at once to ensure that at least one pool member remains available, keeping the VIP online and operational during the migration. Finally, in stage five, we'll start by setting VMware Big IP1 to forced offline. Next, we'll save a copy of its configuration and license, and we'll make sure both files are saved at a location that we can retrieve later in the migration process. Then we'll revoke its license. Once VMware Big IP1 is disconnected and inoperative, we'll disconnect all its interfaces.
Now we'll power on Nutanix Big IP1 and assign it the same management IP as VMware Big IP1. After Nutanix Big IP1 is online, we'll license it using the same saved license from VMware Big IP1. We'll set it to force offline, upload the saved configuration, and load it with the no license keyword. While the configuration is loading, we'll open a separate terminal to Nutanix Big IP1 and wait for the message device ready for online to appear. Once it appears, We'll set Nutanix Big IP1 to online. With that, the standby Big IP1 has been successfully migrated from VMware to Nutanix. Our migration is now completed. Both Big IP VEs and application workloads have been migrated from VMware to Nutanix successfully, and application services continue to function smoothly during and after the migration. For more details, please check out the technical article posted on F5 Dev Central. We'll provide a link to the article in the description below. Thank you for watching.